Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto pizza, but this isn't just any regular pizza. This pizza is a zero carb crust pizza. Super simple, it's not a fat head dough. I'm gonna show you, walk you step by step on how to make this meat lovers keto pizza. Okay, so I have a little pizza pan right here. What I did was just cut out our parchment paper, which is gonna go right on top. This is not a fat head dough but it does involve cheese. So get ready because this is so, it's just a really unique crust and it tastes absolutely delicious. So I grated my own cheese. This is like a Kobe uh, cheese and there's six ounces of it, okay? So six ounces of cheese. You're gonna have two eggs at a room temp. Just crack that right in there. And then we are going to add our spices. So one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, then we have our onion powder. We also have a teaspoon there. This is gonna add so much flavor to your crust. Half teaspoon of oregano. And if you don't like oregano or any of the powders, of course, you're gonna eat this. So just add your seasonings of choice, okay? And if you're about that spicy life, you guys know I like a little bit of spice, we're gonna add our red pepper flakes. I just added about a teaspoon of, of red pepper flakes. So now let's go ahead and mix this together. You're gonna take a look at how simple this is to make. And trust me, it's so delicious. You guys are going to have this on repeat. Okay, so now that this is all mixed together, this is actually, um, there's a few steps to this, but it's so easy. So you're gonna have to stick around to see how, how we do this. We're going to add the mixture. Okay, this is going to be our crust. We're gonna add it directly onto our, our little baking sheet or our pizza pan. So then you just wanna flatten it out, spread it out. Okay, so this is pretty much how thin you're going to uh, spread your mixture. Remember, this is more like a thin crust pizza, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to bake this um, because there's a process, there's one step in between um, while we're baking, okay? So let's go ahead and get this in the oven. Make sure that your oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, so now we're gonna bake this for 10 minutes. We'll come back and check on it and I'll show you what we have to do in between. Okay, so while our crust is in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and cook our bacon and our sausage. It's Italian sausage. Of course, you can use your toppings of choice. You can make pepperoni, ground beef, veggies, whatever you want. I'm doing a meat lover's pizza, so we're doing bacon and uh, Italian sausage. Okay, so now we're getting our pizza crust out. We ended up cooking this for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing right now. Okay, so we are gonna put this to the side. We get a new piece of parchment paper. This is completely optional, but this is if you want a crispier crust, right? So as you can see, this is sturdy. Like it's not, it's it's like a sturdy crust. We're gonna flip it over because I want it to be a little crispier. And it's going to just give the bottom a little bit more of a crisp. And now we're gonna assemble. So now we're gonna, next step is obviously your pizza sauce. You can totally make your homemade version. I found this one at my local Ralph's and it has four net carbs. So you get the five carbs, subtract the fiber, you get four net carbs per quarter cup. So here's the quarter cup. And now we're just gonna go ahead and pour that right over our crust. And if we need a little bit more, then of course you can, um, you know, just add another, another quarter cup. So it just depends on how much sauce you want on your pizza. I might add a little bit more. But that's the only thing, the only carbs you're accounting for are the pizza sauce. This is one cup of mozzarella cheese and then you're just going to sprinkle it. And of course, this is your, your pizza, so you're going to use as much or as little as you want. This is a meat lover's pizza. So we have the sausage. This is the Italian sausage. So we'll start with that. We're actually just going to, um, you know, sprinkle that on top. And again, use as little or as much as you want. You can actually make two pizzas and then just um, split the toppings, you know? Okay. And we do have some bacon. Okay, crispy, crispy bacon. Sprinkle that on. Oh my gosh, the bacon is so crispy. I wanna eat it right now. Okay, and last we're gonna add some pepperoni for our meat. And you know, you can add however many pieces you want. I'm just gonna, you know, 
add a few here to the side so it looks nice and pretty. Okay, and now we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I'm just going to drizzle. All right. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add our pizza. Take a look at this fatty. Oh my gosh, I'm like, this looks so good right now. I'm so hungry. So we're gonna get this in the oven. We're gonna bake it for 10 minutes and then we're gonna broil it. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, so now we're gonna put it in for 10 minutes, 350 degrees, and we'll check back. We just turned the broiler on high and we're gonna do it for two minutes. Look at this. <gasps> Beautiful. Okay, so take a look at our pizza. This is absolutely amazing. Remember our crust is a zero carb crust, which as you can tell is nice and sturdy. We're about to cut it now so you can take a look. I'm gonna cut it right here. And of course we're gonna do the taste test. Okay, so now for the taste test on our zero carb crust pizza. Oh my gosh. Meat lovers like heaven right here. Do you see all that? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. You have to try this. Hands down. So delicious. I, I mean, of course, there's sausage, there's pepperoni, bacon. Like, how can it not be delicious, right? Okay guys, so there you have it, a zero carb crust pizza. The only carbs you have to account for are the carbs in your uh, pizza sauce. Other than that, all the toppings and everything are also zero carb. This is the perfect keto pizza. And honestly, the taste is absolutely delicious. So you can even make something like this while doing like an egg fast. Let me know if you guys want a video on how to do an egg fast. Um, I'd be more than happy to share that as well. But you have to try this. It's super delicious and perfect for a pizza night. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you want a little more of me, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok. Of course, turn on your post notifications here on the channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Again, thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Mwah.